Now we're going to see um, how to estimate the cost of that slab. Uh, we will start by looking at the cost reference. So we go into cost reference and we look for the uh, concrete slabs. We have in here a cost for slab on grade. Uh, so we're going to use this file to estimate the cost of that slab and when we open this we realize a couple of things. One, uh, this is a assembly so it includes all the uh, cost associated with the uh, slab including reinforcement, uh, vapor barrier and um, formwork. Then uh, we see that the cost is per square foot so we need to multiply these cost factors by the area in square feet to get the um, the uh, cost of the total slab. Then uh, as we look into the uh, different options we see that we have a slab on grade 4, 5, 6, 7 inches and the slab of grade on grade that we want is an 8 inch. So we will need to do uh, interpolation to estimate the cost for the 8 inch uh, slab. So I'm going to use this value uh, 6 inch uh, light industrial reinforced uh, at a cost of 614 uh, per square foot as one of the reference and the other one will be the 7 inch light industrial reinforced at a price of uh, 635. So I use those two numbers to estimate the cost of the uh, slab uh, for 8 inch. We are going to use interpolation to find the cost of an 8 inch slab on grade based on the cost of a 6 inch and a 7 inch slab on grade. So we're going to assume that the cost works as a linear component. We have for the 6 inch slab on grade we have a cost of uh, 614 uh, with reinforcement and then we have uh, for the 7 inch we have a cost of 635 with reinforcement so now we don't know and we want to find the cost of an 8 inch slab on grade that uh, it's the unknown what we do know is for this line the slope is always constant so the slope which is delta cost over delta thickness is constant along all the points in this line. This means that the slope of this line is going to be the cost of the 7 inch reinforced which is 635 minus the uh, cost of the 6 inch which is 614 divided by the delta x which is 7 inch minus 6 inch which is 1 so the total cost of this uh, uh, the, the total the slope of this line is 0 0.21 Now, with the same logic, we can say that the slope of this line is going to be the cost that we don't know, the cost of the 8 inch, minus the cost of the 7 inch, which is 6.35, divided by the thickness of the 8 inch minus the thickness of the 7 inch. So, this is going to be equal to the line slope, which is 0 0.21. Therefore, the unknown cost it's equal to 0 0.21 plus 6.35. So we have a total cost of 6.55. This is going to be the dollar cost per, uh, for the, per square foot for the 8 inch thick uh, slab on grade. Well, uh, now that we know the total price, we have to break down both the material and uh, labor. So if we see the material cost for the 6 inch reinforced is 301, 
the material for the uh, 7 inch is uh, 325 so we see that there's been a um, 24 cent increase for that uh, additional 1 inch thickness so uh, using the interpolation method explained before we get a $349 for materials then uh, for installation we see that the cost goes from 313 to 310 which means it dropped 3 cents for that additional 1 inch uh, 1 inch uh, depth which is uh, a little bit counterintuitive but that's the way it is so to be consistent we are going to set up our cost for lab labor at uh, 307 so 349 plus 307 will give us a 6.56 cost as we calculated before now we take the uh, portion that we have estimated on the slab uh, I have so far 1031 square feet and we're going to take that information into Excel so I'm going to click on the right hand side of this uh, slab on great row I'll stretch the mouse to the uh, beginning cell then right click copy and I will paste that information in uh, OST in my tab uh, for materials that come straight for OST so now I have, now I have uh, 1031 square feet of uh, slab on grade and uh, that's going to be under the uh, concrete division the uh, code for this is going to be um, uh, A1030 120 and then uh, prorated a 103120 prorated so that that means that I will be prorating uh, the the values of uh, two two using two of the costs and then uh, calculating the third one so this is going to be a uh, eight inch concrete slab reinforced and then I'm going to use a uh, unit of measure square feet the material cost is going to be 349 the labor cost is going to be 307 uh, the equipment uh, I don't uh, list it in here uh, because it's not listed in the columns so we get a total of 656 which is the same cost as we got before with the operation the quantity of work is going to be equal to the OST uh, measurement enter so now we get a cost of uh, uh, for the slab we could add a uh, let's say a 5% waste factor for concrete on the slab and then uh, you know our total cost will be three thousand uh, six thousand nine hundred forty three I could make a note on the right hand side of this sheet saying um, cost values prorated from uh, six inch and seven inch slabs so that's how we would calculate the cost of the uh, slab on grade.